Hey guys, this is Kayla from Alternate Heating Systems, and today I'm going to be talking about back puffing. Back puffing is when the wood is releasing its gases at a much faster rate than the oxygen coming in is able to burn it. So this produces an audible chugging noise coming from your air valve in the back of your boiler. Now, back puffing isn't necessarily dangerous, but it does produce that annoying chugging noise and may produce an odor in your home. So there are three main issues that can cause back puffing. The first one being wood moisture. <clears throat> so the drier the wood is, the more likely you are to see this back puffing. We recommend you burning wood between 18% to 25% moisture in it. So when you get lower than 18%, the, the risk of back puffing is, is, is greater. So if your wood is <clears throat> more than two years old and it's been kept dry in, in, in your shed, this is typically we call that um, dry wood. The second problem is how you position your wood in your firebox and how much you put in it, how full you fill your firebox. So when you're burning dry wood, you want to make sure you place your wood nice and um, straight, not all haphazardly. You want to make sure it's nice and organized. The third one is the size, the diameter of your pieces. So the smaller the diameter, the more likely to have this back puffing. So, so if you have really dry wood, you want to make sure your diameter is bigger. So here I have a two by two piece of wood that is around 10% moisture. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and chuck this firebox full of these, these pieces of wood. This is exactly what kind of wood you don't want to use. I'm going to show you a, a worst case scenario of how to not lose your firebox. I'm going to throw them in there, not even just haphazardly, whatever. I'm not going to lay them in neatly as you should. So um, let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so the fire is roaring and it is starting to back puff and so I'm going to open the door show you guys the fire and then we're going to take you back and let you listen to the back puffing. And as you can see the wood kind of all in there. And then I'll back to the back of the stove. So now we're here at the back of the stove, um, at the air valve, and um, if, if I'm quiet you can listen and hear the, the back puffing. Alright, so since um, back puffing has to do with the, the amount of oxygen coming in to the firebox, and so to help help this, it's more of a band-aid fix, um, we have a, a damper here. I'm going to take this funnel off. You can see here this damper. When you close it, I'd say about, about right there, um, three quarters of the way closed. Um, if you if you do happen to um, be burning really dry wood and it's smaller, um, you can close it like this when you when you fire it up, and it will help your your back puffing problems, and it will uh, help with the emissions going out the flute also. So um, again, this is just a band aid fix, something we put on the boilers, um, just a quick and easy something to fix. And we do make a uh, an air diffuser which which will help with 99% of the problem which I will show you later.
lastly, I want to just go over some, the fixes to the back puffing issue. And the, the first would just be kind of obvious. Make sure you are aligning your, your firewood in, in your firebox correctly. And, and if you are feeling it clear full, maybe try lessening the amount of wood you're putting in your firebox. And if you do need those longer burn times with the cooler firebox, try throwing some higher moisture wood in with your really dry wood. We do have two other options. Uh, they're available. Uh, we sell them here at, the, at Alternate Heating. Um, the first would be this. It's pretty simple. It, all you do is stick this. It plugs one of your side tunnels. Either or, it doesn't matter. It um, just restricts the airflow so that only one side is hot. And um, it, it, it allows the, the wood, the dry wood, to burn slower. second thing is this, uh, we call it the air diffuser. This goes in your firebox with this tube sticking in your air valve hole and it, and it allows the air to run through here and exit these ports here and these ports here. And this, this is very neat because it, it preheats the air and drops the air directly where it needs to be. And uh, an added Add a feature, these, um, send these plugs to plug the top holes. So the drier the wood means the more plugs you put in. So using the air diffuser and the side tunnel plug will solve 99% of your back puffing issues. So you're able to burn really dry wood very efficiently. So that's back puffing, what it is and how to fix it. I'm Caleb from Alternate Heating Systems. Thanks for watching, and if you guys have any questions or videos you would like to see in the future, please comment below, and be sure to subscribe.